Dear learners of Standard 6, welcome back to my today's online class. Hope you all are safe and sound by the blessings of Almighty Allah. It's our Bangladesh, a land of natural beauty. So welcome you all to Bangladesh. We know our Bangladesh is a small country situated in Southeast Asia. Though the land area is very small, but geographically and naturally, it is one of the most beautiful countries of the world. So our today's topic is position of Bangladesh in South Asia and the natural beauty of Bangladesh. You are very familiar to this world map. This map represents the seven continents of the world and five oceans of the world and you know here is the equator which indicates by zero degree and from equator to the north pole it's the northern hemisphere and equator to south pole it's the southern hemisphere and the from the prime meridian the right handed part is the eastern hemisphere and from the prime meridian the western part is the western hemisphere so our asia continent is situated at the Eastern Hemisphere, which is situated in the Northern Hemisphere also. So, if we divide the Asia continent into four directions, North, South, West and East, so Bangladesh is a country of South Asian country. That means it is situated in the Southern part of Asia and Bangladesh is located in the southern part of Asia. Ours is a country of rivers and agriculture and Bangladesh is encircled by India on three sides. So follow the another one map that is geographical position of Bangladesh in the world map. Follow here the position this red marked map shows the Bangladesh which is situated in the southern part of Asia continent. Here follow it is the Asia continent and the western part of Asia continent here is the Europe and this here this is the Africa and Asia in, in the southern part of Asia continent here is the position of Bangladesh and this is the map of Bangladesh. Follow this map of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is encircled by India on nearly three sides and there is a little boundary with the neighboring country Myanmar. Follow here another one map, the boundary of India and Myanmar. This is the map of Bangladesh, position here the Bangladesh, the to the north, West Bengal of India, Meghalaya and Assam, to the east, Assam, Tripura and Mizoram. To the western part, this is totally the West Bengal of India and to the southern part of Bangladesh, here is Bay of Bengal and the south, that means eastern, southeastern part, this corner point here situated the another neighboring country of Bangladesh that is the Myanmar. And we know the our country has the six seasons and the rainy season is one of the major seasons and it is a fertile deltic regions also. So let's follow some information to the north west Bengal of India, Meghalaya and Assam, to the east Assam, Tripura, Mizoram and Myanmar, to the south Bay of Bengal, to the west west Bengal of India and total area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 square kilometers also 56,977 square miles. And what is the population of Bangladesh? The population of Bangladesh is 14 crore 97 lakh 72,364. So this huge population, Bangladesh has the huge population and it is one of the densely populated countries of the world we know. And the, but the main obstacle or the hindrance for the development of this agricultural country is rapid and unplanned growth of population. Next follow, our soil is very rich. How? The name of the rivers of Bangladesh, here this is the river map, the Podda, Brahmaputra, Jomuna, Meghna and Kornofuli. And total different rivers flow through the Bangladesh. So total the number of rivers 230 river comes from maximum rivers come from India that is 54 rivers originated in India and the 
three rivers comes to Bangladesh from Myanmar. Here the soil of this uh, has been formed with the silt from these rivers and we have three major rivers Padda, Meghna and Jumuna. And Jumuna is the main branch of the Brahmaputra river. And there are also some big rivers Shitalakha, Tista, Shurma, Karnafuli, Modhumoti, etc. So the sources of most of the rivers are in India. These rivers make our soil fertile to produce the crop production. But in the rainy season, our rivers swell up and become dangerous as they carry silt, so they cause erosion in the older areas. And the river Podda is also known as the river of Kipti Nasha, that means Kipti Nasha river, which erodes the old one but established the new bank of the river. Let's follow the Bay of Bengal lies to the south of Bangladesh, you know, and the first water of the Bay of Bengal has mixed with the Indian Ocean. Now come to the point, we have the three seaports that is Chijong, Mongla and Paira have developed along the sea course and our marine export and import are conducted through these three ports as Cox's Bazar is the longest sea beach of the world which is situated also on the Bay of Bengal and many tourists from home and abroad come to visit here. Not only this, in addition also we have some islands which are very famous to the tourist islands maximum islands are situated on the bay of bengal that is most familiar islands here shondip kutubdia maheshkali then saint martins so take up saint martin islands and kuakata of potuakhali are also the famous tourist spot. Let's come to the point about the Sundarban. We know Sundarbans is the largest mangrove forest in the world spread between India and Bangladesh. But 60% of the forest is located in Bangladesh. So what does Sundarbans mean? The Sundarbans the world largest mangrove forest and mangrove means here any of the various tropical evergreen trees or shrubs that grow in shallow coastal water. And Sundarbans vast track of forest and saltwater swamp forming the lower part of Podda Brahmaputra river delta in southeastern West Bengal state, northeastern India and southern Bangladesh. So Bangladesh has not only the sea but also the Sundarbans. And the Royal Bengal tiger, the world largest most attractive sorry the world most attractive wildlife lives here and also we have the dotted deer that is chitra horin which is also very famous in the world and for animal habitat and beauty the sundarbans has been declared a world heritage site and here follow these are the new metaphors and sundarbans the trees which are grown in sundarbans the swampy area they have these respiratory organs. The natural scenario of these three hill tracks of Bangladesh, Rangamati, Khagrachuri and Bandarbans is very charming. The highest mountain peak of Bangladesh, Tazingdong, this is locally known as Bijoy, is, in, is situated in Bandarban districts. Height is 1231 meter. And next one, the position is the Kyukaradang. So this, these regions comprises the Rangamati, Bandarban and Khagrachuri, eastern regions of Chitong districts and the hills and mountains existing in this part possesses an average height of 16 meters. And here the in the Bandarban districts the second highest peak of Bangladesh Kyukaradang possessing a height of 1230 meters only. So the difference between the Tajingdong, the height of the difference between Tajingdong and the Keukaradang only 1 meter. So we have already come to know that Everest, the highest mountain peak of the world is 8850 meter high. Though Tajingdong is much lower, but we can feel proud 
of our highest, highest mountain. Let's watch our video on the 13 highest mountains of Bangladesh. important information we should know about our Bangladesh. Almost the whole of the country is a large plain land. There is a little highland as well. According to the land boundary agreement between Bangladesh and India, which held on 31st July 2015, mutual exchange of enclaves took place between the two countries, Bangladesh and India. As a result, 1041.5 1, acres of land has been acres of land has been added to Bangladesh territory and in addition Bangladesh has got more than 1 lakh kilometer of territorial water for the implementation of the international court verdict of the made in territory case with India and Myanmar. So the according to the land boundary agreement between Bangladesh and India we got the land area and also from the international court verdict we got the marine territory from Myanmar. Let's know about the Bay of Bengal which is situated at the southern part of Bangladesh. So the vast expanse of water to the south of Bangladesh is named the Bay of Bengal and in fact it is an extended portion of the Indian Ocean. So follow the Bay of Bengal Innumerable rivers including the Brahmaputra, Meghna, Padda, the Karnofuli, the major rivers of Bangladesh have merged with the Bay of Bengal. And in addition, many rivers of India also, that is the including the Ganga, Jomuna, the Mohananda, Godabari, this is here follow, Godabari, Krishna, Kaveri, these rivers, these rivers also have merged in the Bay of Bengal. And the two rivers of Myanmar that is the Irabati and Naf have also merged with the Bay of Bengal and the location follow to the north of this bay the Bay of Bengal here so Bay of Bengal the northern part of this bay Bangladesh and West Bengal of India and the Indian Ocean southern part which is situated to the southern part Myanmar and a portion of Bangladesh are also situated to the eastern part and India and Sri Lanka this is the Sri Lanka islands, India and Sri Lanka situated to the western part and Sumatra islands which is that is the islands of India. Sumatra islands of India is also to the south of Bay of Bengal. So let's know the important information about the Bay of Bengal. So to the north of this bay are Bangladesh and the West Bengal of India. To the south there is Indian Ocean. To the east Myanmar and a portion of India. To the west India and Sri Lanka and also Sumatra Islands of Indonesia is also to the south of Bay of Bengal. So about Bay of Bengal, the vast expanse of water to the south of Bangladesh is named the Bay of Bengal. It is an extended portion of Indian Ocean. The Meghna, the Podda, the Brahmaputra and the Karnafuli of our country merged uh, to the Bay of Bengal, the Ganga, Jumuna, Mahananda, Godabari, Krishna, Kaveri of India, the Irabati and the Naf of Myanmar have merged with the Bay of Bengal. And the area of this Bay of Bengal is about 22 lakh square kilometer. The average depth of this gulf or bay is more than 5 kilometers. 
now we will know the importance of bay of bengal the influence of this bay of bengal on the economy of bangladesh knows no bound this bay of bengal uh, is very important to us for various reasons that is easy means for cargo transport and communication for trade and commerce with different countries of the world the main connective route is through this bay of bengal it rains in our country due to blowing of monsoon created in the bay of bengal and for this reason many crops grow in our agricultural country due to this rainfall and the bay of bengal abounds with fish resources we know and there are about 500 species of fish in this bay and also 10 kinds of shrimps also in this bay so among these rupchada hilsa churi loita etc are mentionable fish and uh, 10 kinds of shrimps also here in this bay of bengal and these fishes are exported to foreign countries meeting our national demands and it acts as a source of irrigation industrial use and the generation of hydroelectricity carry the silt to increase the fertility of the land and also here it is the vast reserve of gas and resources at the bottom of the bay of bengal so uh, the coastal people of our country produce salt from the water of this bay of bengal it satisfies almost the entire demand of salt of our country and many people also earn their livelihood collecting conch snail oyster shells etc so uh, let's know about the conch that is the marine creature lives in its own uh, cereal uh, that is the shell and musical instruments made from this a large spiral shell and this uh, western industry has developed in cox's bazar so cox's bazar on the coast of bay of bengal the main tourist center of bangladesh so here today up to this thank you all